Diana Denmark here, ra ra ra. I hope you're fine and well today. I'm excited to get back uh, behind the, the YouTube camera this week and we're going to be doing a little project this week. It's something that I do uh, two or three times a year and uh, th this summer is no exception. We are going to be looking at our morning routine this week and you're going to be working along with me. And uh, for, for those of you who are new to my channel, what, what do I do? I, I show you how you can have a cosy, clean home and it's very, very simple, just through some simple daily routines. And you'll find that once you get these routines going, it really opens things up for you. You can uh, get a wee bit more joy out of your day. So anyway, I'll, I'll tell you what we're going to do this week. Now, what, why have I chosen the morning routine? I'm choosing the morning routine because uh, you may be in a situation like here in Denmark where this is the uh, first day where um, people are going back to work going back to school after the summer vacation. You may still be on summer vacation and it's also great to keep going with your uh, routines, even during vacation because, uh, you know, it really opens up your day. Uh, you, you get all your gotta do's done and, you know, instead of the day slipping through your fingers, uh, perhaps this year you are going to be homeschooling and you need a really good morning routine, um, you know, just, just so that you can uh, get on with your day. So now, and before we get started, you're not going to need anything uh, special to, to do this. I'm going to tell you what is in my morning routine. And at the end, I'm going to tell you to do one thing. Now, we are not going off to start uh, printing off charts and making folders and looking for apps. I'm going to ask you to physically do one thing. So stay tuned for that. Uh, you may want to just grab an old notebook, this is one that belonged to one of my kids, uh, you know, it, it could be an old school jotter, a piece of paper, uh, make a note on your phone. I'm going to tell you what things, uh, the things are in my morning routine and uh, as I said at the end of the video I'll tell you one physical thing that you're going to do, okay? So I hope you're ready. You might want to grab, uh, grab a glass of water. We're having, we're still having a heat wave here in Denmark at the moment. Uh, for us here in Denmark, a heat wave is anything uh, when we've got several days over 25 degrees Celsius and we've actually had uh, in the 30s which is like the 90s uh, Fahrenheit the, the past few days so we're, we're, we're trying to keep cool. So uh, for example my morning routine I get out of bed uh, and that's when I like to hear the bed I, I, I pull back all the sheets and then I make the bed once the, the rest of my morning routine is done. Uh, I like to get ready for the day. For you, that could be, um, you know, fixing your hair and your face. Uh, I have a quick shower, I do my hair, get my clothes on, uh, a wee skoosh skoosh of perfume. Don't, don't save stuff for a special occasion, every day is a special occasion. Um, so getting ready for my day. Uh, after I've finished in the bathroom, I do a quick uh, swish and swipe. If you don't know what that is, we'll talk about that another time. Let's not get into it, but it's just basically putting anything away that I've used in the bathroom, wiping uh, the, the flat surfaces and giving the, uh, the toilet a wee swish around to keep that clean and wash your hands afterwards of course. Uh, I have my uh, breakfast, um, coffee, I always have my coffee going, um, and a glass of water. Uh, and what about a lol, a load of laundry? I try and do a load of laundry every day and mine is uh, hung out uh, outside. Usually my load of laundry, I put that on as soon as I get out of bed, I come downstairs, grab my cup of coffee and I put my laundry in the machine. You may run your machine during the evening, you know, whatever, according to uh, your electric bill. Find something that works for you. It doesn't, doesn't matter what, what time you do these things, but I'm, I'm just telling you what is in my routine. Um, so I put my load of laundry and then usually by the time I've had my breakfast, it's ready to go on a final spin and then I can get it hung up outside because we don't have a tumble dryer in it. And if you want to know about that, it's all in my uh, laundry playlist. And then I'm thinking about what, what's for dinner. Now, I plan my menus uh, once a week. I, I post them on my blog down denmark.com. But just think about what's for dinner. Do you have to pull something out of the uh, freezer? Uh, take a wee look uh, in your cupboards. Just don't be caught in that situation later on in the day thinking, oh, you know, what's for dinner and you haven't, you haven't planned it. So what's for dinner? Uh, also, uh, take a look at your, um, your diary, your calendar. I keep mine here on uh, a stand here in the kitchen. So look and see what's coming up for the day. 
Um, and, uh, and, and then I make sure that I'm, I'm finishing off my lol. That once it's uh, dried outside, I fold it and put it away. So, what I want you to do now is pick one of those things. You're not gonna, you, you don't need to be doing all everything from the list right now. But pick one thing and do it. Now, why am I asking you to do that? Because I know that it, it, you, you just kind of take those notes and say, oh yeah, that sounds really good and that would work for me in it. But you're not actually going to move forward in it. And I want you to move forward with me this week. So pick one thing from the list, go and do that whether you are, uh, if you're sitting in bed, get out of bed. Or even if you're sitting in bed think, you know, what's for dinner tonight? What, what do I need to go and do? And I want you to physically do it. And then you can write down below in the comments what you've done. Now, usually I would suggest if you've kind of been procrastinating about things and putting things off, that you take something from the list that you've been putting off, because once you get that done, you can really move forward with all the other things. So anyway, I'm going to get more moving forward with uh, my stuff because the kids want to get and have their breakfast. They, they, they still have a few days uh, yet before they're back to school. So uh, anyway, let me know what you're going to move on right now. Physically move on. Remember, we're putting one foot in front of the other, one pom pom in front of the other, and I will be cheering you on. Uh, and also, if you want to uh, do this along with me on Instagram, I'm on Instagram, Diane Denmark, uh, Diane in Denmark, uh, and I shall see you there. So anyway, live long and prosper. May the Danish hygge and heat wave be with you. And uh, I will see you tomorrow where we will be checking in again for day two of a little reset week. Okay, bye for now.